Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl with Fabby. For those of you who don't know, and if you didn't know, now you know what's up. And welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry. I forgot to film an intro, so this is the best I can do right now. But today we are going to film a half up, half down DIY on my pixie cut. So let's get into it. So for this look, you're gonna need some bundles. Of course, I use the Vice Synthetic 3-pack in 26, 28, and 30. And what you can see me doing here is parting the half up, half down section of my hair. Normally, if your hair is long enough, you would braid the back. I have no hair, so I don't need to do this. My base is already flat. Next up, you're gonna use two stocking wig caps, ideally the color of your bundles or as dark as possible if you're using dark hair. You're gonna place both caps on top of your head. After this, you're gonna grab some concealer to mark where the parting line is between your base and your half up. If your base is braided down, it'll be easier to feel for it, um, so that's always a plus. Next, you're gonna unravel your bundles and start measuring from concealer mark to concealer mark to make sure you have the appropriate length for each track. Using glue from the hair store, I start gluing my tracks one by one in a very loose U shape so that they can fall right on top of each other and you won't really see like where the track ends if that makes sense so this is how it's looking with my first two tracks down and as you can see i didn't sew the wig cap down and i'm not using any protector because i put on two wig caps the glue will not seep onto my hair and i've done this method before and i've had no issues so the key is to use two wig caps after you've finished applying all your tracks, this was two bundles, or like one and three quarters. You blow dry it on the high heat setting just to set everything. Next up, you wanna grab your scissors, cut both of the weight caps off, and you're just gonna follow the line to cut the whole weight cap off. Well, the front of it at least. Make sure you're extra careful and you do not snip snip and cut your hair. Once that's done, you're gonna start working on the half up part. As you guys can see, my hair is short in some places because I have a pixie cut. So I'm gonna take my Gorilla Snot Glue and use that to really slick up my hair in a super tight and sleek ponytail. And you can use the Got To Be Spray if you have it. I've used that before and it works just as well. I just like the Gorilla Snot Glue. I had it on hand and it also provides a really strong hold without flaking. Once you've tied your ponytail, you're gonna take a wrap strip, which I also got from the beauty supply, and you're just gonna lay down the front of your hair. Put your ponytail into a nice braid, and once again, you're gonna take the wrap strips and wrap it around the braid so that it protects the hair from any glue getting on it when you start applying your ponytail tracks. So in the next part, I forgot to press record. Basically, you can see me attaching the ponytail in the left video. Um, so I start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. In this video, you can see that I started recording when I reached the top. So basically, all you do is you just keep wrapping it around. Then you're going to pull a strand of hair from the back and wrap it around to finish so that it's seamless. And once you're done, you remove your wrap strip and there you guys have it. It's a half up, half down DIY. This is the back, super full, super lush. This took me an hour and a half, so it's super easy to do. I also added some baby hairs. This is optional. And yeah, this is the final look. So if you guys like it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. I will also link the hair down below. Bye.